Ever wish you could emulate your real life stalking habits and Smite by checking out your opponent's stats pre-game? Well now you can, thanks to the Smite Guru app. In this video I'll be letting you know why you should get it, before moving on to the download process and using the app. The Smite Guru app runs through the Overwolf overlay and allows you to check player stats without ever having to leave the game. No more tabbing out and guessing when that Loki with the microwave computer has loaded in. Don't underestimate the value of being prepared. Knowing that it's the first time your enemy has ever played Nemesis, or that your opposing solo laner is Master's rank, is invaluable. Be sure not to place too much emphasis on rank alone. Check out all their stats, or you make a nasty shock. Hashtag smurfing OP. Example time. Let's say your luck is out and you get this scrub in your game. A quick glance tells you that he's fairly well versed in the art of conquest, but you have a free win if you joust it out. Overwolf itself has lots of other nice features such as team speak, Facebook chat, screen capture and music player integration. You won't be able to live without it once you've given it a go. Personally, my favourite feature is simply being able to watch your favourite YouTube channel or catch up in global issues while that level 20 death timer burns out. The overlay is unobtrusive and user friendly. No need to worry about landing those hard to hit new wa alts due to obstruction. In order to get your Smite Guru fix, you first have to download Overwolf from overwolf.com. The download is small, so even if you've got a hamster powered internet connection like me, it won't take long. Create an account and you're in. Navigate to the For Games section of the App Store and you'll find the Smite Guru app on the first page. Click that bad boy up and you're sorted. Using the app is easy. The Smite Guru search comes up automatically, but you can also get to it by hitting Ctrl F or you can access it by mousing over the Overwolf tab, selecting App Store and launching it from there. I like to snoop my teammates in the lobby and my enemies in the load screen, type in their names one after the other and peruse their stats at your leisure. The Overwolf cursor can be summoned by hitting Shift F1 and it can be got rid of in the same way. I've been Plague Player and that's enough of me for one day. Updates and extra features are already planned, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. Till next time, VVGB. GB.